Right, anyway. Anyway, fucking, do you know what? I love you all. Give it a lick. <laughs> the fuck? Anyway, so, um, essentially back to my movie review slash movie review on fucking scary cunty stories telling the cunty fucking dark, okay? So, with the release, okay, joking. Itchy, 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 itchy hand, itchy wrist, 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 okay. So back to what I was saying, as I said, I love the way that this movie, I love how I just went back into that straight away. Anyway, I love the movie's atmosphere. Um, A lot of the scenes are fucking awesome. Um, Talked about the spider power, talked about the scarecrow. Yeah, I like when I was like, oh shit, he's dead. I can't be seen around the cops, you know. You know, like, I can't believe he was killed, you know, or whatever. It's like, it, did he become the Scarecrow? No, I think he done it. It's like, and reading the stories as they're being written, like, he was always really scared of the Scarecrow, you know? And I love the chemistry that he, uh, the guy has with, with the main girl, the, the Indian guy, the sort of love interest. Their chemistry was really nice, actually. I really liked it. I thought it was cute, sweet. He was a nice guy. And... Um, it's like, yo, this happened to me and my dad and all that. And it's like they had that nice sweet chemistry um, and physics. But we didn't see them with their biology. Okay, I'm not even going to go there because like, I actually don't know how old the actors are. So. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I've done that. So basically... Um, you know, I loved all the scenes between them two, like, okay, do you want to come to my house? Like, yeah, sure. It's like, okay, just be careful. How, what about your dad? He's passed out. Just make sure he's not awake. So they're like, oh, cool. You got a cool room. It's like, oh, nice. Yeah. It's like, yeah. So what is this? Oh, this is a diary. It's like, oh, cool. Like, I, I want to be a writer someday. And like, that's the other thing is like at the beginning of the movie, she's kind of narrating like, we all judge. These are the type of stories that scare us. You know, we all have a story. And this is ours, and that kind of like she has a great narration, and she repeats it at the end, and it's like yeah, and then she's upstairs like okay, I'm just trying to do something, and she's writing, so you get the kind of writing, so you get the kind of Stephen King aspects, like oh cool, it's like what is this, like this is what I wanted for my mom and dad, and all that. I was like oh cool, so there's a lot of scenes of them up in the room, like oh god, what's happening? It's like the story's writing itself. Oh my god, what's happening? It's like the story's writing. So oh, we gotta warn them. So there's a lot of scenes of them going upstairs. We gotta do this. We gotta do that. You know. So there's a lot of the same scenes of them going upstairs, and. Like, oh shit, this story's gonna be written. It's like, we gotta warn them. Um, but yeah, I love that kind of aspect of the film. Um, but there's also great emotional moments. Like, there's a really heartbreaking scene that I absolutely love. Um, you know, and it shows how Karen does. Like, honey, where are you? It's like, dad, listen, I'm gonna let you know something. If I go missing or I die soon, I'm gonna let you know that I love you. He's like, what are you talking about, baby? What? Just come home. You're not going to die. It's like, like, no, please. I love you, Dad. If I go away, it's like, no, no, come on. Just just come home, sweetheart. Come on. Like, we can talk about what you're going through, please. Like, I love you. I love you too, sweetie. It's like, it's like, <laughs> and she's crying and breaks down. And it's such an emotional scene. Both actors done such a great job. It shows how Karen, the father, is in the movie. And it's like heartbreaking because it sounds suicidal. Like, she's going to kill herself or something. And it's like, a really heartbreaking moment, but it's really well executed. Um, but it's just all that kind of stuff, like with the going up to the room, it's like, yeah, that's cool. It's like, you gotta write the story, and then the guys up there, it's like, Chuck's like, oh god, what are we gonna do, and all that. Um, and just the atmosphere of the haunted house and the look of it, it's like proper, almost Tim Burton esque, which I love about this film. Um, don't know what that was. Anyway, so that was actually a very thing I'd say my older videos, but anyway. Um, same energy. But yeah, I love that. And as I said, like the lines and the dialogue and the humor, like it's really well written. Um Chuck's like, what are we gonna do and all that? And then he starts taking things more seriously when horrible things are like, come on, are you okay? We gotta go. Get out of here. He's like running in the school. He's like, where is he? And all and they run out and like, oh my god, he attacked me. He's like, what is it? This horrible thing is happening. And then they're talking and in like this happens, like, no, because it's not real. 
you know, on the fort off, she's like, this is not true, it's not real, I'm not, this is not a funny prank, it's like, no, we are not pranking you, I promise we are not pranking you, you know, they say that outside, and she's like, screw this, I'm I'm gone, you know, and they keep at her, like, no, it's like, I promise we're not pranking you, he says, it, the, the brother says, the sister is like, no, I'm done, the stupid Halloween prank better be over, and all that, so, you know, it's like, oh, we gotta get help, help you with this, and like, I like that kind of chemistry and the worries and then obviously the scene where they're, the three of them reading the book like oh this is happening we have to see what's happening here and all that it's like oh god yeah it's like what's happening it's crazy when it's like the book is writing itself and it's like it's writing what's going to happen it's like he's next it's like oh my god we gotta warn him and all that and there's some genuinely creepy effective scenes like that's a really well done moment I think in this film um it's just brilliant. Like, it's just brilliant atmosphere, a small town, suburban neighborhood, that kind of thing. I liked all the scenes with the father. Like, you, you're not going to go out for trick or treating with your friends. Like, oh no, I'd rather stay here with you. And it's like, okay, sweetie. And then, like, he's like, she comes home late. It's like, sweetie, don't come home so late next time. He's like, you got to go to work again. Yes, sweetie, please. Just don't come home so late next time, okay? And then he gets calls, like, hello. It's like, it's like, your daughter's here. It's like, oh God, what's happening? And all that. Got to come to the station. It's like, what are you doing? What's going on with you? It's like, Dad, stuff is happening. It's like, okay, okay, whatever. You know, it's just all that kind of stuff. Like, it's like your dad's going to want to hear about this. And you just get all of these great moments with the actor. I'm fucking trying to remember the goddamn guy's name. I know his name. He's in Breaking Bad. Plays Hank. Oh, fuck. Kind of makes me want to watch Breaking Bad now, actually. I'm not even going to lie. It actually kind of makes me want to rewatch it all from the beginning. But I have to finish Better Call Saul, so... Which I know he appears in that later on. Spoiler alert. Anyway. It's a fucking prequel. Get over it. So. I love that. About the film. I love that kind of like. Those characters. Like the characters are very well written. They're not stereotypical. Um, Like for things that could be. Have, could have been overdone. Like it's. It may, the movie finds a way of not making a stereotypical. But you get great shots of like. The way the camera pans over the city. And the fucking. Or not the city. The fucking town. The fucking fields and like the electric place like come on we gotta go this way and all that and it's just such a, a great adventurous horror film um you know and it feels very stephen king-esque as well and i love it i love that aspect of it but um what else was i gonna say uh you also get the great moments like yeah okay whatever you know it's like yeah i'm gonna i'll have food mom it's fine you, you forgot to get more food never mind yeah, I'll just have what's in the fridge, you know, the soup. So they, I like that guy, um, you know, who he's in the forest kind of half. It's like, okay, what do we do, you know? And he's like, okay, we got to go this way. It's like, okay, Chuck, come on. It's like, are you coming out? It's like, no, man, what, what's happening with you? I saw something. He's like, come on, man, don't be a wuss and all that. And they're kind of like, okay, whatever. It's like, what are we going to do? And we're at the field and all. But he becomes a victim. He's like, okay, what is it? It's like, this is what happens. She goes around and then she says the words, where is my toe? Oh my God, this is a, a story. He's in the next story. we got to warn him and all this kind of shit. It's like, where is my toe and all that? Who took my toe? It's like, who took my toe and all that? Um, But word says that Tarantino came in his pants when he watched the show. <laughs> well, he probably would. And she's like, oh my God. It's like, no, I'll have the soup. The one in the fridge. So the soup just appears like, whatever. It's like, come on, what what are you doing? And he heats stuff. It's like, you're in the next story. It's like, yeah, whatever, nothing. It's it's just weird. It's like, no, you're in the next story called Who Took My Toe and all that. And he's like, come on, it's just a stupid bedtime story. You know, it's a scary story. To tell in the dark, they said that. No, they don't say the title, but they're like, no, whatever. It's like, he's like, listen, man, you're in the next story, dude. I appreciate it, but come on. And he's making the soup. He's like, what is that? And he eats it, puts it in the soup, and then he eats the towel. He's like, oh, what is that? And it's disgusting. Like, I just ate the towel. And he takes it out. Like, oh, and you just hear, hear the words, where is it? I ate it, but I haven't heard her. And she just goes, where is it? Or, who took my toe? And she turns around and ah, comes out. Like, oh my God, are you okay? And all that. It's like, no, no, no. And all that. It's like, no. And then she grabs him. He's like, no. And then, ah, he gets pulled down his nails scrape and they're like oh shit and it's like oh my god we gotta get him and then the next day he's like what he's gone what happened to him and all that he was taken and you, you understand the emotion and the guilt that the characters feel um but the haunted house aspect I, I enjoy that like they go into the haunted house like she comes in are you serious come on take me why are you doing this and you know it's raining and they're like come on we gotta go and they're running and I'm like why are you doing this you can't do this and all that and then she sees the woman's like, where 
are you? And there's moments where she pops up as a ghost, like, ah, and all that. It's like, no, you can't do this, and her, stop it, stop it. Throws her into this kind of, like, place, like, no, into this prison, like, no, 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 and all this kind of shit. And she's like, you're a monster. It's like, no, you, you know, it's like, you're, you're making, you're making out to be, you're, you're making it out to be, a, everyone is like, making out, ugh, fucking hell, making you out to be a monster. And now you're becoming the thing they're not. It's like, oh, and all that. We can write a new story, but just let my friends go. No, kill anyone and all that. And she goes, there was a new story, blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, sure, and whatever. And then says it, and then eventually they do it. And then she just goes, ah, and disappears. But there's even a great scene where she runs in, and it's like, a re the, it goes from a really dirty haunted house to a fancy. I was like, oh, God, like, are you coming back for dinner? It's like, no, we got to go. It's come on. And it's, they're running off. It's like, get in there. Get in the basement. No, 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 no. And she's like, let me out. Let me out. And all that. And eventually she runs out. And then she's like, oh, God, give me a hug. And they, they hug. And then you get kind of the narration. And, you know, happy with her father. And, like, the we tell these stories, you know. She's typing out or whatever. Right. And it's like, and all that stuff. And then eventually they're on a road trip. And it's like, and we will find them, you know. And then you see the them driving off and you see the girl looking at the guy that plays Hank and the blonde girl and we will find them, Chuck and the other guy, I forgot the other guy's name, whatever costs, whatever it takes. And then you see the Jeep driving off and the shot it feels. And it sets up the, the uh, sequel very well. I'm looking forward to the sequel because if it's as good as this fucking film, great, because I love this movie. But um, yeah, so I love that. It's like, dude, your sister's hot. You know, it's like, dude, stop it. You know, I like that. Um, but I do like the the love he kind of has for the other guys. Like, that guy's not good enough for it. It's like, oh, man, he's just better at you than you in every single way. Dude, shut up. You know, that kind of stuff. It's like, let's go to a haunted house to go in. Like, whoa, let's go in. And the open door is like, it's like, yeah, Chuck's like, stop it, Chuck. It was like, it's like, yeah, there's, there was a woman that lived here. And legend says, and all that. And they're like, oh, it's a piano. And they touch it. And it's just all these kind of like, Dorty moments, like Dorty cobwebs, and it's a brilliantly shot scene and haunted house, and it's just really well done. It's like the legend says that she was trapped or whatever, and you're bullied, and every year she attacks you and all that. And the the main girl, you feel sorry for her. She's likable, she's cute, she's nice. Like yeah, so like he's better than you and everybody, dude. Shut up. It's like it's not real. So they walk upstairs. Like what is that? It's like well, and then eventually Chuck just goes, Bleh! and he's like dude and he runs after i'm gonna get you and he runs after him he's like oh, come on so he's like you okay here it's like oh yeah um so he runs after him like chuck i swear to god if you jump out at me i'm gonna punch you you know what i mean like it's just really fucking funny um and then th the weird kind of stuff like like there's a good scene where they're in the haunted house for a while but there's a scene like weird shit kind of begins to happen there because chuck goes into like the the closet trying to scare someone's like <laughs> and he opens it he looks and he just sees a, a woman brushing her hair it's all fancy and he opens it and he's like it's like there was a woman here it's like what no i swear to god it was all modern it's like wait what's happening and then it's going on for a while and then weird shit's happening like what's happening ah, it's like oh god and all that and then they run and then they get trapped like hello hello we're locked and then in and then the, the bullies come in oh I'll, I'll teach you what to do and they lock him he's like let my brother out of there it's like no okay fine you go in with them you're dumped, okay, whatever. Like, get us out of here. It's like, weird stuff is happening. It's like, no, they're not. You and your weird friends or whatever. So immature, you know. And the scene is kind of them going around the house walking and they break stuff. It's like, oh, God. You know, and they get out. It's like, okay, let's go. And they get out. And that's where weird shit starts to happen. But overall, guys, oh, what else can I say? This is a fucking brilliant horror film. With the way the, the shots of the scarecrow kind of reminded me of Texas Chainsaw Massacre a little bit with the, and the crows and stuff. Um, not that that was in Chainsaw Massacre, but I love this fucking movie, guys. It's really well written. It's beautifully shot. The Halloween, the atmosphere, the humor, the drama, the dark moments, the dialogue, the writing. It's funny as fucking parts. Um, it's a, it feels like a classic horror film that you would have seen years ago. It's just a fucking brilliant movie. I honestly have no issues with it. It's a ten out of ten. Absolutely love this film. Here's the front, the spine, back, E1 and Universal done this. It's a brilliant fucking film. I, Blumhouse, I don't think it's part No, I don't know. Blumhouse didn't do this one, but um, it is a brilliant film. And um, I recommend it. Also, Blu-ray quality is amazing. So yeah, I recommend picking up the Blu-ray. 
But that was my movie review of Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will see you guys later and bye.